Music. This is Miss Claire and welcome once again in our Math 6 class. In this video, you will learn new lessons and it talks about time zones. So you will learn two lessons, the time zone map and finding the time in different time zones. The learning objectives for this lesson are to find the time difference between two time zones and to find the local time in different time zones. So what is a time zone? So let's start with the time zone map. So this is our time zone map. A time zone is a part of the world with the same local time. Local time means the time on which country are you located. For example, we are in Jakarta. And at this time, the local time in Jakarta is 3 p.m. or 3 in the afternoon. If you are located in the same time zone with Jakarta, Indonesia, so your time is just the same with Jakarta. But if you are located on different time zone, your time is, is either ahead of Jakarta or behind of Jakarta. Now, there are 24 time zones uh, as there are 24 hours in a day. So as you can see here in our time zone map, they are separated by the lines as shown here. Then the color of the country or each time zone indicates the different countries that located in a particular in a particular time zone. So the time zone, children, the time zone to the left of another is one hour behind or late. Then, the time zone to the right of another time zone is one hour ahead or advanced. So, if other countries, for example, in Jakarta, we are 3 p.m. right now. If you are on other time zone that is one hour ahead, so it's already 4 p.m. there. And if you are located in another time zone that is one hour behind of Jakarta, their time in their country, in their local time, is still 2 p.m. So each country, or yeah, each country in the world, their local time based on their location in the time zone map. Okay, P6. Now let's try to find the time differences between two countries or cities. Let's start with the time differences between Istanbul, Turkey, and Bangkok. Thailand. So let's find Istanbul, Turkey. It's around here. Istanbul, Turkey is labeled as plus two. So this is the time zone for Istanbul, Turkey. Bangkok is in Thailand and the time zone there is labeled as plus seven. So Thailand and Jakarta, Indonesia has have the same time zones plus seven. So let's try to find the difference of between their time zones. So let's count from plus two, let's go to plus seven. One, two, three, four, five. Therefore, their differences or the time difference is five. So the time differences between Istanbul, Turkey and Bangkok, Thailand is five hours. Another example, let's try to find the time difference between Rome and Washington, D.C. Rome is in Italy. It's around here. Rome is, the time zone is labeled as plus one. Washington, D.C. is in United States of America and it's labeled negative five. So let's try to find what is their time difference. So from negative five, we go to, to the right. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. Therefore, the time difference between Rome and Washington is six hours. Rome is six hours ahead of Washington, D.C. because cities or countries located on the right of from the other countries, they are ahead or advanced. Another example, let's try to find the time difference between Los Angeles, California and Toronto, Canada. So how many hours is Los Angeles behind Toronto? Where is Los Angeles, California? Let's try to find it. 
So let's have the Toronto. Toronto is here. Toronto is negative five. Los Angeles, California is around here. Let's try to find where is Los Angeles, California. So let's go here. Los Angeles, California is labeled as negative eight. So negative eight and negative five. So how many hours is Los Angeles behind Toronto? So Los Angeles, California children is behind uh, between, uh, from Toronto. So Toronto is ahead. How many hours then? So let's just count. One, two, three. Okay, therefore, Los Angeles is behind by three hours. So their time difference is three hours. So that's how to find children the time difference between cities or countries by finding their time zone in our time zone map. Now let's try to find the time in different time zones. So I have here different clocks in different cities but in the same day. I have here the first clock is in Quebec in Canada. The second one is 6 o'clock in Paris, France. The third clock is in Jakarta, Indonesia, 12 noon. And the last clock is in Sydney, Australia. This is 16 o'clock or 4 p.m. These clocks, children, these four clocks, are in different cities but in the same day. Now, let's try to find the time in Sydney when it is 10 o'clock in Paris. So how to solve the local time in Sydney when it is already 10 o'clock in Paris? How? First, we need to compute first what is the time difference between Paris and Sydney. As you can see, 6 o'clock then 16 o'clock. So how many hours is that? Yes, that is 10 hours difference. So. It is 6 o'clock in Paris when it's 16 o'clock in Sydney, so their time difference is 10 hours. So, when it is already 10 in Paris, we just add 10 hours from 10 o'clock. So, 10 o'clock, we add 10 hours, that is 20 hours, or that is 8 p.m. That is 8 p.m. in the evening. So, that is the time in Sydney is 20 hours when it's 10 o'clock in Paris because their time difference is 10 hours. Another, we still have the same time or different clocks. Let's try to find the time in Quebec when it is 15.30 in Jakarta. First, let's try to find the time difference between Quebec and Jakarta. So from 12 midnight to 12 noon, so how many hours? That is 12 hours difference. So it means to say that Quebec is late by 12 hours compared to Jakarta. So when it's already 15.30 in Jakarta, to find the time in Quebec, we just need to subtract 12 hours. So 15.30 minus 12 hours, that is equal to 3.30. So this is 3.30 a.m. So the time in Quebec is 3.30 when it's 15.30 in Jakarta. Another, I have here a timetable of two flights. Chicago is one hour ahead of Denver and one hour behind New York. So as you observe in our timetable, we have some missing data. So we have missing data for the arrival local time from New York to Chicago and also the both flight time. Flight time means the duration of the flights. So let's answer the first question. What is the flight time from Denver to Chicago? So Denver to Chicago. So from Denver, it departs. The airplane Z9032 departs from Denver at 11.30 a.m. And it arrives in Chicago at 14.56 p.m. So how long is the flight? 
Remember that Chicago is one hour, one hour ahead of Denver. So if it is 11:30 in Denver in Chicago, that is already 12:30 p.m. Okay. So we will use the 12:30 p.m. time because the flight will arrive in Chicago. So from 12:30 p.m. then the arrival is 14:56. So how long is 12:30 p.m. to 14:56 p.m.? So from 12:30 p.m. to 14:30 p.m. that is 2 hours. From 14:30 to 14:56 that is how many minutes? Yes, that is 26 minutes. Therefore, the flight the flight time from Denver to Chicago is 2 hours and 26 minutes. Okay, P6. So that's how to compute for the flight time when the cities have different times if the other is ahead or behind another let's use the same data so in this uh, question we have the flight time from New York to Chicago is 2 hours 45 minutes so the question is what is the arrival time in Chicago Chicago is one hour behind New York so the plane or the airplane will depart from New York at 7.05 p.m. But remember, Chicago is one hour behind New York. So it is still 6.05 a.m. in Chicago and it's already 7 a.m. in New York. So instead of using 7.05 a.m., we will just use the 6.05 p.m. Then from 6.05 p.m., let's add 2 hours and 45 minutes. And that is... 6.05 plus 2 hours is 8.05 a.m. plus 45 minutes. 8.05 plus 45 minutes is equal to 8.50 a.m. So the arrival local time of flight Y9078 in Chicago is 8.50 a.m. So P6, that's how to find the arrival local time. During our Zoom meeting, I will discuss more about this lesson. Okay, P6, that's all about Chapter 12, Time Zones. I will discuss more about this lesson during our Zoom meeting. And thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot in this video. Always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everybody and have a great day.